Good evening, folks. It's Randy Savage 50 here. And feast your eyes on my new, well, it's not new, but it's new to the bedside. I've had this gun for probably two or three years now, and I've just ch transitioned it to my, my bedside home defense gun. And I will explain to you a couple of reasons of why I did that. Uh, first off, this is the Taurus PT-111 uh, G2. So I believe it's the second model in its class. They have the original PT-111. I think the, the slide is like silver or gray on that one. They have this one. And now the newer one is like kind of an upgraded model of, of this one is a GTC, G2C. Excuse me, all the letters are just confusing. Uh, but this is a fantastic model. Um, the trigger pull is good. The recoil is normal, just like any 9mm gun. Uh, it's a 12-round magazine come with it, as well as a secondary one. So it's two magazines that come with it. Um, I keep hollow points in it, and obviously they do good. I believe that you should be able to pick a good round that you want to use in, in home defense situations that's going to uh, do good enough damage to stop that threat or do good do do whatever your intended purpose is. So the reasons that I chose this gun for my bedside, one, I have many choices. Um, I have Glocks, I have Smith & Wessons, I have all kinds of weapons, but the price tag on it, I bought this for $189 on a Black Friday deal. Um, I've seen it now probably, uh, I've seen about $230, $250. I've even seen it $199 at some pawn shops. But you can get it below $200 if you look close and look at different places. So that reason, I say that because if something happens and it gets stolen, even though I do have a safe, safe little safe in my nightstand, if somehow it gets stolen, at least I'm only out less than $200 opposed to $400 or $500 or $600, um, with some other different types of guns. So boom, that's one. Number two, it just feels, it feels great in hand. It's very compact. Um, it's not as small as a, let's say a Ruger LCP. That thing is really, really small. And I'm kind of sick of it. If you look at one of my reviews, you'll see that uh, as well. Um, so it's kind of the size of a, let's say MP shield. I think that's very comparable. I have a shield as well. And it feels uh, quite a bit similar, pretty similar. Um, the size as well is good so you can maneuver it well throughout the house you don't have to worry about soldering a large rifle or having some big handgun in your hand clunking and clanking against the door frame i know that's exaggeration you usually don't have that happen but um i do like the size um you can find holsters for it i don't have a holster in the safe with it but at night i put it on my nightstand without the holster but they do make holsters for it, the Kydex holsters, not just the leather ones, but Kydex, and I'm left-handed, so they have those that you can find as well. So that's another plus. You know, some guns they make, it's tough to find um, comparable holsters for it, but this one can. It does have a safety on it. Some say that's a negative. I say it's a positive depending on the situation. I never walk around with any of my guns with the safety on, because in that high-stress situation, you may forget to deactivate that safety, and now the trigger will not go bang when you want it to go bang. But I have the safety on when I have it on my nightstand because I would hate for my little eight month old to somehow crawl up there and grab it. Even though he's in his room across the hallway in a crib, I still don't want to be too sorry. Then someone would say, well, you should just leave it in your safe. I'm like, well, no, because if something happens, goes to, happens to go bump in the night, I don't want to sit there fumbling around to type in my code to get it. I'd rather just grab it off my uh, nightstand, which I do. Um, so the safety helps to give me an extra sore uh, sureness of safety just in case I forget to put it up before I go to work and somehow he gets I, that won't happen because I never forget but um, I do like the safety being on it um, number three uh, let's see 12 round magazine I think the shield has what eight so I get four more rounds than this when you buy it, it does come with two magazines I do have it filled with hollow points um, I can't remember the brand don't ask but they are reliable I have used them a lot um, and to that reliability point, this gun is very reliable. I've shot hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it, no failures or anything. Uh, trust my life 100% with it. I'm so excited for it. Now, to this light, I think every home defense gun should have a mounted light to it. Uh, and that's one reason I have this light, which is an AIMCON highlight. A-I-M-K-O-N highlight. I bought it on eBay for around $31. And um, it's holding up well. I did have a TLR of six or probably a TLR of three. 
I can't remember which one it was, on it at first, and I bought that for around $109 from Ganner Outdoors. Decided that that wasn't a wise investment. Went ahead and returned that. Used that money to get a threaded barrel and some night sights for my Glock 19. You will see a review on that later. Yes, I know you're probably like, wow, you got it that cheap? Yes, you'll see it on the review later. And um, went ahead and bought this going on eBay for 30, this, uh, sorry, flashlight on eBay for $31. Is it reliable? Heck yes, it's reliable. I intentionally went to the range this weekend to shoot this gun and to make sure that the light didn't fail. It did not fail. Everything worked perfectly on it. The light did not go out. You know, it has a strobe on this one, which is pretty cool. The light did not start flickering. The battery didn't dislodge itself. None of that happened. So it uh, performs flawlessly. So those are the few reasons why I use this gun as my home defense nightstand gun. Well, one of those guns, one of those home defense guns, but um, I love it. Everybody else, I think many people buy this gun. It's all I've seen all raving positive reviews. Maybe there are some that have negative reviews with some ammo or whatnot, but overall it's a good gun. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. I know I didn't really do a review on the gun. I just gave more of, of reasons of why I, I choose the gun. So any questions, let me know. Any issues that you've had with yours, put it in the comments because I'm curious as well. Um, yeah, let me know. Randy750 here checking out. Have a good evening.